Meadows. We'll put him in Brett Reed's car. Came from that direction. All right. Look, there was someone in this car. Say, this is Britt Reed's car that was reported stolen. That's right. A stolen car and a homicide. Say, we've stumbled onto something big. I wonder if there's a phone in this place. There must be one in that office over there. You call headquarters. Take care of things around here. Right. I never saw a car move so fast. You all right, Mr. Britt? 
fit as a fiddle, Cato. How about you? I do not think I'm going to join my ancestors. Just yet, Mr. Britt. Oh, you'll be all right. You've been called here to receive a message of special importance from the chief himself. We're ready to hear you, sir. As a result of the Green Hornet's operations, our stolen car organization is smashed. Fortunately for us, Meadows won't ever talk. The toll taken by the Green Hornet is mounting. His interference in our affairs has cost us hundreds of thousands. He must be removed without delay. As an incentive toward this end, I've authorized Monroe to pay $100,000 to the man who puts an end to the Green Hornet's career. That's all, gentlemen. Why wasn't Rockford at this meeting? He was busy moving the headquarters of the Blue Streak bus lines out to the old Martinson place. Oh, I see. Getting ready to give the Whippet line buses the works, huh? That's the reason he moved out there. It's near their repair garage. Now, the Whippet bus lines franchise is up for renewal at the end of the month. And if it shouldn't be renewed, the Blue Streak bus lines would have no competition, Dean. I get you, Rocky. Now. If you two could get jobs as mechanics in the Whippet garage... It's in the bag, boss. Something tells me that from now on, the Whippet service is going to be terrible. Mm-hmm. So long. See you later. Morning, Miss Case. Just a minute, Mr. Reed. Tell Mr. West that Mr. Reed will see him in a minute. Gunnigan is waiting downstairs with Mr. West. He wants to see you. Mr. West? President Whip at bus lines. Oh, send him right up. And for 12 years, the Whippet bus lines have maintained an enviable record of service and safety. Well, perhaps your employees are coasting along on that record, Mr. West, and just getting careless. No, that's not it. I believe the Blue Streak bus lines want us to lose our franchise so they won't have any competition. Well, oh, surely you can't blame them for access to your lines. The Blue Street Company is an old established firm, too. Now, it may only be a coincidence, but the fact remains. Our trouble dates from the time the Blue Street Company changed management six months ago. What do you want me to do? I'd like to see the Sentinel do something about the matter. I'm sorry, Mr. West. The Sentinel has never interfered in squabbles between competitors. I'm sorry you feel that way about it, Mr. Reed. Excuse me. Uh, Reed, I've just made an important discovery. Don't tell me you saw perpetual motion. Yes, sir, and I... No, no. It's about the old Martinson place out in the Westwood Pike. Is it haunted? It's open again. And it's being used as headquarters by the Blue Streak bus lines. Well, so what? Well, now, it was used by crooks once. Maybe another set of crooks is using it again. Oh, you got a terrific imagination, Michael. Don't it look suspicious to you, sir? No, it does not. Fritz, where suspects the Blue Streak Company of sabotage? I think it would be a pretty good idea to have Lowry get down and check up on the situation. All right, all right. Put Lowry on the story. And if it'll make you any happier, I'll take some bus rides myself. There. That ought to fix it. She gets rolling down grade. Hey. You're sure this bus is going to the terminal empty? The boss said there was to be no accidents to people. Don't worry, it'll be empty. I checked with the dispatcher. Okay, 16's ready to roll. Where are you going? Suburban terminal empty. New orders, bud. More trouble? 57's broken down near Clover Hill grade. You'll have to pick up his load. Right. Come on. You discovered what's wrong? Yeah, there's a couple of bearings shot. What's the matter? Whippet lines operating buses with old motors? No, this is a brand new job, but it's the third breakdown I've had with it. Oh, that's strange. Strange? Say, you know this oil feels like it has emery dust in it. 
You know... Say, here comes number 16 now to pick up my load. You got orders to pick up my load? Yeah, get him in here. Okay. Well, sorry we delayed you. This bus will take you there. Uh, step inside, please. Yeah, just take this bus. Yeah, go right inside. down the grade. Don't tell the passengers, Mr. Reed, but my brakes are gone. What can you do? I can handle the grade, but I'm worried about the bridge at the bottom. The one that's being repaired? Yeah, there's a bad dip in the detour, and at this speed, we're allowed to tip over. There's the bridge. can do is try. You'll never make that detour. There's no other route. Yes, there is. Feel your brakes start to go. Well, I started to slow down on the downgrade. How long has it been since they've been inspected? This bus just came out of the shop less than an hour ago. Well, let's take a look at the brake rods. Well, this rod has been almost cut in two by a hacksaw. The failure of your brakes was not accidental. That's right. There's no mistake about that. How do you like that? Well, I don't get it. Every time a whippet bus breaks down, there's always a blue streak on a job to take over our passengers. Mr. Reed just came in, Mr. West. I'm sorry I had to wait. That's quite all right, Miss Case. I guess he was delayed getting into town. Thank you. Hello, West. Hello, Reed. The last time we talked, you hinted that the blue streak people were trying to cripple the whippet lines. I'm convinced of it. Well, have you any proof? No, I haven't. All I know is our buses have experienced a large number of breakdowns lately, which look like sabotage. But you have no tangible evidence. And that's what worries me. This is a case that even the police can't touch. I see. What do you figure these breakdowns have cost you? I can't estimate what it's cost our reputation. But I should say our repairs have run about $12,000 over normal. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you very much. I think the Sunday will look into the bus transportation business thoroughly. Good. Miss Case, will you tell Axford I'm ready to go home? He went out just about the time you came in. Where'd he go? I don't know. He just said he had a hunch and he was going to follow it. Well, do the one that lead him into trouble. What goes on? This bird was trying to get in the window downstairs, Rocky. Burglar, huh? Nah, he's Mike Axford, a reporter for the Sentinel. Oh, a reporter, huh? Well, in that case, take off his gag, boys. You didn't have to break in here, Mr. Axford. We're always willing to talk to the press. What was it you wanted to find out? I wanted to see with my own eyes what kind of deviltry was being cooked up in this crooked house. Deviltry? Well, I don't know what you mean. Oh, yes, you do. Me and the Sentinel's got enough on you to send you to the pen for life. Oh, you have? That's different. Here, time up. Is anybody else with him? Wouldn't you like to know? Yes, I would, and I'm going to find out. Let's go downstairs and take a look around. 
time up good. That'll hold him. Take care of this snooper a little later. I don't know where to start with this blue streak outfit, Kale. It's definitely a case for the Hornet, but where can I get evidence? Why not call the officers of the Blue Street Line, Mr. Britt? If no one is there, you might pay them a visit. That's a good idea. This is Michael Axford. Who? Michael Axford. I'm at the Martinson place. They've got me tied up. A prisoner. I... Hello. Hello. Hi there. Who's calling? Uh, is this Westlake 4915? No, this is Westwood 4915. I'm sorry. I guess I have the wrong number. They're holding Axford at the old Martinson place. That is not good, but it gives the Hornet an objective. Get my mask and gun. We've got to move fast. So you thought you'd pull a fast one. What is you saying on that phone? Nothing but hello. You heard me. I don't know whether that was a phony call or not. We'd better not take any chances. Better get rid of this mug. We'll get out on the garage and speed Joe up. He's fixing a tire. Make it snappy. I'll see if I can start this bird to singing. Are you going to talk or not? <laughs> The last time you're going to tell me what Reed sent you up here to find out? I'm telling you nothing, Rockford. Get away from that man. I said get away from him. You... You're the Green Hornet. Exactly. Why have you got this man tied up? Why? Uh, who, me? Never mind. I'll release you and then you beat it. You two and get up from there. It's a happy day this night is. I've got you, and at last I've got the Green Hornet what I want him. Give me that gun, you idiot. I don't hold your breath on it until I give it to you, or maybe it would be just as well if you did. Shall I tie him up? No. Get over there, you two, or I can watch you. I'll have no conniving between you. Go on, move. I suppose you're going to call the police. That's just what I'm going to do. Hello. Hello. What? Drop that receiver. Now get out of here. Yes, sir. And now I'll deal with you and your racketeering bus line. I'm running a legitimate business. You're the one that's a racketeer. I know all about the sabotage you've had done on the Whippet buses. You're crazy. The Blue Streak is an old established company. Don't lie to me. I know your men cut the brake rods on a Whippet bus today and nearly cost the lives of half a dozen people. That was an empty bus that... Uh-huh. It was supposed to be empty, but it wasn't. Rockford, your methods are old-fashioned. I'll show you a much better way to really put a bus line out of business. I get it. You want to cut in with us. What do you think? All right, what's your price? $12,000 on the line and a signed agreement for 25% of your take. Okay, it's a deal. I'll write you out a check while you draw up the agreement. No check, Rockford. Cash. But I haven't got that much money here. If we're going to be partners, let's not start out by lying. I happen to know you keep plenty of cash here. I'll 
me how you want the agreement to read, and I'll write it out and sign it for you. I'm telling you, Tim, the Green Hornet's there, at the old Martinson place on the Westwood Pike. No, you better send three squads. Right. There's your agreement, Hornet. Now, let's have a few of your ideas. Thanks, Rockford. That's just the evidence I needed to smash your racket. Now I'm turning you over to the police. Why, you crook, you said you was going to show me how to put a bus line out of business. I am, and it's your bus line. This $12,000 will just pay the repair bills on the Whippet buses. And now I want to know who's the head of all your rackets. Come on. Don't use those guns, you'll hit Rockford. And I'll get you both before you can fire again. No, no, don't shoot. The chief's orders are to get the Hornet regardless. Too bad, Rocky. Wait, wait. Circle around him. He can't cover all three of us. Down the floor, Rocky. 